Hi guys, I am Stephen Two Cat Media, and welcome to another video. Well, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. In today's video, we're gonna do a story mode job. So let's get cracking and have a look see at that. So we got different ones there, but the story mode one is this one. So the next one in order is the Mayan 2004 Mayan M8R. So the repair with minimum parts condition is, uh, well, we don't know. So let's have a look exactly what it says. It's, hi, it's Johnny. One of my employees will drop by with another car. I hope you'll find a moment for him. Don't be deceived by external appearances. It's not without reason that it's set on a chassis. The engine has been completely destroyed. I brought it from an insurer for peanuts. I don't know how it happened, but the motor is battered. Uh, restore it to the perfect shape. I think an original mileage like this one will make it as a tasty, make it a tasty bite. Uh, thanks. We'll be in touch. Change the oil, drain the old, and refill with a new and some other tasks. So let's crack on. Okay, so here is the car, the 2004 Mayan M8R, I believe it was. It is definitely quite uh, dusty. I think the first thing we should do just to tidy this up is to get it over to be washed just so we don't get our hands too dirty okay so i know we don't make any money on this but that's fine we go that extra mile for the, in this company oh yeah that's beautiful oh yeah that's beautiful uh, in fact because it doesn't cost any extra i'm just going to give the inside as well a nice clean for the customer perfect okay so let's get this back to car lift a Okay then, so let's have a quick look at the car status. So yeah, I mean, actually it doesn't look too bad actually. Um, okay, so we've got those tasks there. The other tasks are change the brake fluid, the coolant and the power steering. So they gotta be drained and, and replaced, that's fine. Uh, headlamp adjustment and windshield washer fluid, that's fine, we can do that at the end. Uh, we've got to change the oil as well, that's fine. And then we've got all these different uh, ones as well. So I think the first thing we need to do is, in fact, I'm just going to put it onto the lift a little bit higher. And what we'll do as well then is we're just going to run a few uh, diagnostic tests. And that will also give us a bit of XP as well. So let's do the OBD scanner. Okay there, so as you can see, we've got the ignition coils. Uh, everything else seems fine, it's just the ignition coils. So that's uh, not too bad. The spark plugs seem fine, the ABS and the catalytic converter, the ECU, and a few and a couple of the other ignition coils as well. So it's just a one, two, three, four, five, is it? Five ignition coils. So let's get on to the next diagnostic, uh, which would be the compression tester. Oh, it can't be started, okay. So maybe there is something missing there. Let's have a quick look. Missing or needs replacing. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously, that supercharger is probably going to need uh, replacing it, as well as all these kind of A rollers and stuff like that. Uh, that's fine. So let me just go and see what we can actually check. The electronics as well. Okay, so we can see here the alternator is knackered, so that's absolutely fine. The realizer, so all the fuses are okay, so that's not too uh, bad at all. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, tire tread tester, why not? As you can see here, I'm not far off level 35, so all these little bits help. So the tires are all great. Uh, what else can we do the fuel compression can't be started okay um rightio so i think the first thing to do is change maybe the alternator i think the fuel tank's fine so right then let's get down there uh we've just got to remove some of these bits and pieces i think to get to the alternator can we yep Okay, I'm going to add that to the list. And what else is there? I mean, you can see there's quite a few things there, isn't there? 
Um, right, but we are going to just go and see if we can. Oh, it's in the electronic shop. So let's go to the electronic shop. And now let's add that back on. Okay, see if that's done anything for it. Um, right, compression tester. Okay, good. So the piston with Conrad, there's a few, well, most of them, if not all of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's a valve, so that makes sense. Uh, the supercharger itself and the engine block as well. So basically, we need to take off all of this. Uh, we can also do the fuel pressure test as well. Okay, so yeah, the fuel rails and the fuel filter, that's absolutely fine. So I think the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to actually start just taking off a few of these little bits. Uh, I'm going to raise up the uh, car and we'll take off, disconnect the uh, driver shaft and the gearbox as well, I think. Okay, let's get a, bit, a little bit closer, it might help. I don't know why it jumps that far away for when you click at this end. Okay. It's not your friend sometimes, this isn't, is it? Okay, so drive shaft. And the starter. Which seems fine. And we'll remove the gearbox as well. I think that could be hit. So I'm going to go and grab, I'm going to lower this down. Oh, actually, now what I'm going to do first, actually, I'm going to just go and empty the oil. As you can see, there's no oil in there, so that's absolutely fine. So let's just get that back. Uh, we're going to go and grab the crane. Move it over to the car lift and go and uh, pull that out. But before we do, I am going to just empty out and drain all of the different fluids as well. Otherwise, we're going to make a bit of a mess. I think that is everything. So let's just see if now we can uh, pull out the engine, which we can, it seems. Perfecto. Right then. So let's go install it on to here and we will go and see what is happening. Install the engine. So you can see we've got things definitely here. So we're going to strip it down really quickly and uh, just replace the parts as we go through it. Okay. I think that's probably going to be the easiest. Okay. So where to start with all this? I think maybe take some of this off the sides, I think. So we'll start off by taking all the some of these rollers off and the uh, the water pump, etc. Okay, and now I think we'll take off these exhaust manifolds as well. I think the clutch pressure plate, etc., they should be fine. I can always change those a little later. And then let's start from the top of the engine and just take off all of these different things. I'll just strip it all down and then we'll just go for the inventory and see what needs to be, what, well, what can be fixed first, maybe, uh, that needs to be fixed. I'm not going to fix everything, even if I can. So that's the throttle removed. Um, I'm just going to start removing this side of things now. Of 
But luckily so far, we haven't actually come into contact with uh, many rusty screws, which I'm kind of glad about actually. Okay, we need to try and get some of this off now. So I'm going to get the timing cover off. And let's try and get rid of these bands here, the, well, the timing belts, and then the cogs as well. And then we can take off the, is it the crankshafts, I believe? Oh, right, but the camshaft is, is what it is, not the crankshaft. So the crankshafts that were underneath, the camshaft are these. So let's just take these four out. These all look okay, so that's fine. Uh, you know, obviously you can tell the stuff that needs replacing. Uh, let's remove these fuel rails. I know these, those need replacing. Okay, so that's removed now, so let's remove the supercharger intake manifold. Now, I mean, yeah, you can see, yeah, let's just get rid of these engine heads. I'm not far off uh, leveling up now, you can see there, I'm about five pieces of equipment off being uh, level 35. So let's just uh, carry on. Okay, so that is all of that. I will need to take these off, actually. Okay, so let's just take off the clutch release bearing and the pressure plate, the clutch plate, and the flywheel. We'll need those off so we can take the crankshaft off a little later. And there we go. So we should now... That's it. We're level 35, guys. Level 35. Okay, let's just get underneath here. In fact, what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to just turn it onto its side. And just make it a little bit easier. Let's have a quick look in the inventory. Do we not get uh, one for... No, we don't get anything. Fine. Okay, so let's get rid of these rod caps and the uh, crankshaft bearings, is it? What are they called? The crankshaft bearing cap. Okay, so those are all taken off, so we can move the pistons and the springs, which come off together at the same time. Now, all these need replaced. You can see how black they are, so that does indicate that they are absolutely uh, no good. I think the crankshaft, obviously, well, it looks like it needs repairing, or at least replacing. Um, okay, so that is everything done. So let's go, uh, oh, I'm a bit disorientated here. Let's go over to here now. Uh, so what we do need to do is see what the minimum part is on the order. So it should, no, not this one. Let's, let's go back to the car really quickly. Okay, so it's 92%. So anything that's 92 or less, I am going to repair. So that's fine. So I'm just going to have a little go on that one. Boom. Even though I like these are fine, I'm just going to um, just do them anyway. In fact, all these are fine. I'm going to go through these. Uh, so these are the only, see, so there's none of the red ones there. There's no orange ones. So we're just going to have to uh, go to my inventory and we're just going to have to select them all, all the ones that we need to do and add them to the shopping list. So I'm going to do that and we'll fast forward to when that's been done. Okay, guys, so I've added them all to the shopping list. Um, there is going to be some things that I've already gotten. So I think I'm just going to go in and buy those things now, uh, the things that I need uh, and go from there. Okay, guys, so here we are. So I've brought uh, things that we need, I think, uh, for the most part, anyway. So without further ado, let's just get on and start uh, building. So we need to add a block, first of all. So hopefully we've got one of those. Now we still haven't got one of those. Okay, so let's go back to there, and let's go to the engine block. There we go. Let's get rid of that. There we go. 
So a brand new engine block. Now let's add the uh, crankshaft V8. Okay, so I didn't add the piston with Conrad, so I'm just going to go and buy eight of those now. Okay, so I've brought the Conrads, uh, the springs should all be fine as well. So we're just going to slap those in and then screw them in. And hopefully we've also got the, the rod caps as well. Okay, and we've got one left. I obviously brought one short, so let me just go and add that to the tablet, and we'll go and buy that. And then this part then is all done. Okay, so oil pan. Yes, I have got one of those, so that's fine. Let's get this. So that's all the bottom done. So we shouldn't now need to mess around with anything else. Let's go and add the power steering pump on there. Why not? And the engine head as well. And the camshafts. Yes, we've got some of those. And also the, well, the camshaft as well. Uh, spark plugs, I don't think I brought spark plugs, spark, spark plugs, but I think they were actually okay, wasn't they? So we'll put them on there. There wasn't in the red zone, so we should be fine. Worst comes to the worst, we can just access those relatively quite easy. Okay, let's add these uh, cam gears. And the exhaust manifold, uh, the fuel filter. Okay, what are we missing off here? Oh yes, the the belt. So let's just put that on there as well. And the other side as well. I think we have to do so. Let's just uh, invert that back and put the next head on, and do all the same again. So let's take the supercharger intake manifold, the V8 one, and put that on top, and I think we've got the supercharger as well, which we can put on there, yes. All nice and uh, beautiful, no rust in sight. The fuel rails, I believe, yes, we did purchase those. That's fine, and one for the other side. And that's the majority, if not all, of the top of the engine done now. And now we're just gonna put on the timing cover. There we go. And now we can just put on the engine head cover. Screw that in, put the ignition coils on, do the same for the other side, and then do all the idle rollers, etc., on the side of the engine. Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, I need to take off one of those. Uh, I need to add that. I obviously didn't buy enough for some reason. I must have brought one short. So that's, oh, no, no, no. I need to go and add that again. Let's go and add that to the list because it's in the electrical side of things. I think that's one of the things I didn't do for some reason. So let's go and just, we'll just buy a few of those because they always come in handy, don't they? Okay, and let's do that again. And the coils cover, and that's that side done. We can stick the throttle on as well. Fine, and while we're here, we'll just stick the flywheel on and all the other bits and pieces for this part of the uh, gearbox.
Okay, so that's that part done. Now let's do the other side of the engine. Okay, that's that side. Now let's do the side of the engine and put all the rolls on, all the different uh, seven time belts, etc., and get this baby put back in the car. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's just zoom out. I don't like the, con the way they did the controls on this sometimes. Ah, uh, yes, we need the oil filter. That definitely needs to go on. And everything now, it seems pretty, pretty done, I think. I don't think there's anything missing off this that I can think of. So let's go ahead and uh, go around to the side and take this off the stand and get it back on the crane. Okay, so here we are again. So let's install the engine. It all looks fine there. Everything seems to be green. So let's uh, select that engine. Okay, and now we can move that back out of the way. And it all looks fine. So we'll just do a few diagnostics on this as well. Uh, we haven't got any oil in actually. So that might be a good place to start actually. Let's just get some of the fluids in. Okay, I think the next is the brake. It's over there somewhere. Sometimes the the camera angles do get on your nerves a little bit, but you know, it can't be helped. So let's just fill up the brake fluid. And then that's all the additional tasks done, I believe, the oil and all the different fluids. I think we do have to do a wheel a, a headlight alignment as well. But while we've got it here, uh, let's just put it back up and connect the air gearbox. So we're going to select that and add. We'll add the gearbox and then the other uh, parts of the exhaust as well. Oh, as well as the starter as well would be a good idea. The front exhaust pipes and the other side. So tell me guys, I mean, obviously this is on version 1008. Uh, we had the big update of 1007, which added a f uh, some little bits of features and stuff on there for us and extra cars in the junkyard. I have heard concerns, from, well, not concerns, but uh, people have commented that people, uh, that they aren't getting that many cars still in the junkyard. What's your thoughts on it? I seem to be. Am I just lucky? Or are you guys are you guys on 1007, 1008? And how do you find the new updates? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so I've updated that. Well, installed <laughs> installed those. Talking about all these updates. I'm getting a bit crazy here. So that should be fine. I'm just going to run the uh, diagnostics again really, really quickly. Just to make sure that everything seems to be okay. And I haven't missed anything. Yeah, all that seems fine, and we'll, we're not going to do them all, but we'll do the compression tester as well. Oh, that's great. I mean, that's in the green, so uh, right in the middle of the green as well, so that should be more or less perfect. I'd say that's a good job. Well done. So let's just go along now. Other tasks... Okay, we do that. We go to the headlamp alignment, uh, so that's fine. That's grayed out. That means if they're grayed out, that means that they're done. Obviously, we still got a task to do on that. Now, this isn't grayed out, so there's something that we haven't done: idle roller B and an ignition coil. Okay, well, we can do that. I'm sure. So we're gonna try and work out which of these ones aren't.
Uh. So I think we need to take that off and the belt. I think we definitely have to get to those. Uh, let's have a look. So that's 91%. Maybe that's the one. I'll just add that to the shopping list and remove that. So if I go there and... And we definitely need to buy another one of those. Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> it's on to there. I have got a bit of a groggy throat, so I do apologise. Okay. Idle roller B. And let's just install that. then hopefully that should be it as far as that part's concerned so let's just have a quick look see at that okay so it is now just the one ignition coil okay so it's my own fault so let's have a quick look onto here i think there was one about 80 odd percent it's not too it doesn't take a lot 100 percent 87 percent so Let's add that to the shopping list and remove that one. 95, 96. Okay, that's absolutely no problem. So let's go to the tablet. Let's go to the electronics. I believe it's under that one. Ignition coil. Fine, clear that. And now we will add the new one. And that should have solved the problem. Have a bit of look. Put that back on. And now... Now we don't want to go there, we want to go to there. That's all greyed out, so now it's just the headlight alignment. So let's back out of this and let's send the car to the test path where we can do our headlamp alignment. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we will do the tracking as well. Uh, it's not there, that's fine. And here we go. So we just lower it slightly and move over to the right. There we go, and the next one as well. Just raise it so the top of the blur of the light is just above the line like that, and then just centralize it, and then that is absolutely fine. And then this little beauty here should purr like a kitten. Should we get in and give it a little bit of a rev? Why not? Okay, so let's open the pie menu and start it up. That's quite powerful, doesn't it? Okay, so it's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's just uh, send this to the uh, to the entrance. And okay, guys, so we are back. This is the car. It's all completed. It's all absolutely fine. Let's just double check. So everything is grayed out, which means everything is completed. And there we go, and then we can finish the order, and we might even get a crate so we can get some more XP maybe, etc. So let's just finish that. And that is done. We're up to 730 XP towards our level 36. And let's just have a quick look in our inventory. Uh, let's have a let's scoop along. Well, first of all, let's get rid of any of the minus 30 ones there. There we go. And we've got our box, or our case rather. So let's go and open that up and see what we get. Okay, so to finish off the uh, the video, let's go to number two for two cat media. We get another one. Uh, let's go to four. And we get another barn location map. I've got absolutely load of them. But you know, what can you do? Okay, uh, the next case. We'll go for number, so we go for one and five maybe this time. One. We got some credits and number five another case okay let's go uh, this time we do number three and four maybe some more credits and number four another barn location map okay guys so that is it uh, guys I thank and appreciate your support on the channel just by watching the videos any likes on a video is always appreciated so if you are enjoying this video it has helped you and you just found it somewhat entertaining or informative then go and give it a little like because you know what it doesn't cost anything but it does help the channel in promotion and also this particular video and it helps me to make more videos for you guys as well so if you've enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up uh, any comments or questions let me know about the updates as well how it's affecting you either on, on the console version or any other version as well uh, on, on the pc version 
and then put them in the comments section down below. I was trying to swallow them while I was trying to talk to you. And if you are new to the channel and you want to be part of the exclusive yet elusive community that is 2Cat Media, then I suggest that you go and smash that subscribe button and become part of the community. So guys, until the next video, thank you for your support. We're approaching 1,500 subscribers. So thank you very much for that. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Stay safe and game on. Know that the ride or die.